<laughs> What's up, guys? New hot sauce review. Why? Two reasons. First of all, because I want to support this person who's starting their own company, trying to make their own hot sauce as a Kickstarter program. So this will be interesting. Plus, I, you know, he reached out to me. He said, "Hey, can you review the sauce? I'm doing this project. You know, and sure, sure. I always support small business and stuff. Absolutely, I'll try it out." But there's a caveat to that. In a second, I'll, I'll explain. Um, but the second reason I'm doing a hot sauce review is because I'm on a hot sauce kick because I've been following Mr. Brad Bishop as well as Mr. Ted Barris and all of their adventures at the Chili Festival. They're posting all kinds of videos, and I want something spicy, so that's why I'm doing that. Now let's get this out of the way. Yes, I'm wearing a tie dye shirt. As you've noticed, it's very sunny, by the way. Very uh, inconvenience right now. Would have loved this right before the video or right after it, but now it's kind of it's too sunny. Anyway, yes, I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt because someone made this for me, and I've mentioned before, if you ever send me a t-shirt and it fits me, I have to wear, well, right now I wear an XL slash 2XL, depending on the brand, but eventually a, a large. Um, but anyone who sends shirts, I will wear them. And that includes this very feminine tie-dye shirt. <laughs> but someone actually went through the process of making this. I thought that was very nice of them. They made it for me. I'm wearing it. It's what I do. So let's get that out of the way before the comments start rolling in. So I got my gold spoon. And I have my Spider-Co Cricut. And I have two bottles of hot sauce here. Now, like I said, this is part of a Kickstarter program. So I'll give you a direct link. But if you went to Kickstarter's website and you look up Texas Tears, you'll see this project. Now there's 31 days left to go, and the, uh, the concept with Kickstarter is you basically put out information about a product or something that you want to do, a service or whatever, and people back your project. And if you make enough money to fund that project, then it becomes funded. There you go. So it's not like you're just going and buying this hot sauce if you want to try it. You're donating money to the project and in return getting something for it. And I'll read a couple of the options there. But basically there's 31 days to go because this will run until Friday, October 25th. Um, there's 55 people who've backed this project so far and they've raised $1,661 and they need a goal of $5,775 and of course, all the information is a breakdown, exactly why, how much the peppers are going to cost, how much the rental for the kitchen, the bottling, all that crap. So as far as Kickstarter programs go, this is not a ridiculous one. It's not a, you know, guy needs $100,000, needs about 5800 bucks, And so far, he's got about 1700 So I figured it'd be, it'd be good to get the word out. And, but I'm going to try this. We'll see if it's any good. I have my doubts, and I'll tell you why. Before I do, if you donate $1... Basically, you get like an update of what's going on. If you donate 15 bucks, you'll get one of the bottles. You actually get a bottle of hot sauce, and it goes on and on. The more you donate, at some point, you'll get a bunch of bottles, and then you'll get bottles with T-shirts and hats. And there's special flavored ones. I also have another one here. It's garlic habanero. That one is separate, and I think you have to donate. I think you, if you donate more than $500 or something, then um, you get all kinds of stuff. Let's say you get 12... 12 5 ounce bottles of habanero, um, custom labels, two shirts, hats, you know, all kinds of stuff. That's how you get into the flavor ones. Basically, to make this simple, there's this basic habanero sauce, Texas Tears, right? If this project gets funded and they're able to make this, they'll make a bunch of flavors, including this garlic one. Put it that way. So the only one really available right now is the habanero one. So... That being said, let me talk about why I'm thinking this may not taste good. I just recently reviewed the Maddox. <sighs> um, and that was basically habanero peppers, vinegar, and salt. So when I get these in the mail, I look at them. And by the way, you can see they're separating because they've been sitting on my desk. Try not to disturb them to show you this. The pepper portion is separated from the vinegar. Oh, you can see that in the light very well. So I'm going to be shaking these up. And really incorporating that again. Um, but anyway, the ingredients are habanero peppers, vinegar, and salt. Now, there's lots of hot sauce out there. A lot of production hot sauce that's very simple. Habaneros, vinegar, salt, maybe one or two other things. But that's on a production level. And the last one I tried, which was just this, the Maddox one, it was funky. Now, it could have been possible that there was the factor of improper storage. I don't know. 
But the fact this has basically the same ingredients, there's nothing in it. It's just vinegar with habanero peppers in it and a little salt to taste. We will see. The other one, which is also nicely separated, it's layered. Layered. This one is their garlic habanero, and the ingredients are habanero peppers, vinegar, salt, and you guessed it, garlic. So same stuff, just with garlic. Need extra shaking. I feel like I'm milking a cow <laughs> on crack. All right. So I'm going to be trying these, but like I said, I'm kind of hesitant. They're very watery. And I'm thinking, I mean, there's nothing in here except for peppers, vinegar, and salt. So I'm thinking it's going to taste like how habanero peppers, vinegar, and salt. It's just mad. It's really all about the combination of it. Like, if the if the proportions are right, it can be okay. But I don't know. We're going to try. I'm not going to make assumptions, but I am scared. So I'll put it that way. So I'll break our little seal here. By the way, here's all the information for Texas Tears. There you go, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and email. Um, it's a nice card. I actually like this card. Very simple. If you have a business card, it should look just like that. All of your social crap on one side, your title on the other. Very straightforward. And your website. All right. So, here we go. First, it's got a little dripper top, which is fine because it's way too watery to... Um, to pour without it. Here we go. The sniff. Hmm. Okay. So this smells very similar to the Maddox, only not nearly as bad. It, it just smells like like a pickled habanero pepper, which is actually not bad at all. Some people don't like the habanero flavor. I'm kind of middle of the road. It's okay. It depends on how it's used, but just a straight habanero. The flavor is a little, a little funky for me. Not my favorite pepper. So honestly, it doesn't smell that bad. All right. I'm gaining some hope. If the proportions are correct, this could be a winning sauce. A very simple, straightforward sauce that's not going to blow your head off. So we will see. Drip some on here. Like I said, very, very watery. Basically like a bottle of vinegar. Because that's what it is, for the most part. Just spicy vinegar. Alright, so, I can see, especially with this wonderful sun that's blinding, little tiny bits of pepper here and there. Bottoms up, here we go. Whew. Totally different experience than the Maddox. Wow, this one packs some heat. I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, all right, first thing that happens when you put it in your mouth, you get instant, instant heat. This is pleasantly surprising. This is actually, this would be pretty good on uh, fries. I was just talking um, yesterday about, uh, oh no, it was earlier today, fish and chips, like vinegar, straight on, uh, french fries, you know, like, I've never done that before, but I know it's popular in a lot of countries. Um, this would be pretty good. It'd, it'd really kick it up. All right, so let me explain this. I feel like I'm going to sneeze now. Freak. <coughs> oh, my God. All right. Peppery. Peppery. Pep, 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 Okay. So what we have here is just that. Habanero peppers, vinegar, and salt. I'm going to put it in your mouth. You the instantaneously you get this vinegar sour like eh, you want to make a eh, dry face oh so dry but then before you can even think vinegar bam you get punched all over mostly in the lips a little bit in the tongue no throat at all habaneros just don't really do that that's some of the super hots you get the throat burn no throat for me but it's just it's like someone just shoved like a bushel full of habaneros in my mouth hits you completely everywhere because of the fact it's so thin it spreads instantaneously whereas some of the other hot sauces out there that are thicker that in some cases may have a little bit more flavor going on a little bit of a deeper uh, flavor profile they're usually a little thicker 
then it's hot, but then it spreads around. No, now it's hot over here. Now it's hot over here. Now it's coating my mouth. No, this thing is it's so thin that when I shut my mouth and I put the tongue on the roof of my mouth to swallow, it instantly touched everything and just bam, just right in the face. I love the heat. It's a straight habanero heat. It would be a little bit hot for some people. If you're a chili head, it's nothing. Um, the average person, they go, oh, yeah, that's really hot. But it would still be, I think, um, uh, manageable for a lot of people. Um, there's not a whole lot going there except for the natural habanero flavor. So if you are a fan of habanero peppers, you would certainly like this one. I have to say, as far as, as, far as cheap hot sauce goes, and by cheap, I just mean straightforward vinegar and peppers because that's what cheap hot sauce is most of the time as compared to the expensive hot sauces, which are a lot more involved, more ingredients, you know, it's more costly, obviously. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, I hope this project goes through because I would love to see this be available uh, for more people. Let me try the garlic one. It should theoretically be exactly the same, but with the garlic, you know, flavor. But, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really had very low hopes for this. I'll be honest with you. I just look at the ingredients and I'm like, ugh. God, I just had a flashback of the Maddox experience. And you know what? Maybe I have to try that again. Like I said, maybe it was improper storage because someone else sent me a message and said, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not amazing, but it's not nearly like licking an office. Anyway, so let's try this. This is the garlic habanero sauce. Texas Tears. Although, calling it Texas Tears, that's a mighty big claim. Mr. Mr. Bishop. Good old Brad Bishop, he's a Texas boy. And this would not blow his socks off or give him tears. All right, so here we go. Oh yeah. Wow. This is literally the same thing with garlic, just like you'd think, but very, very heavy on the garlic. Like um, it smells like I just opened a little jar of uh, minced garlic. Very, very garlicky. Very. You'd have to really be a fan of garlic to enjoy this. So let's try this. See if it's got that same punch and if the flavor with that, because I'm a huge garlic fan. As much as I love garlic, you can overdo it. Get this whole spoon filled up. There we go. One more. Bloop. Okay. Same thing, just with garlic smell. I see peppers in here. And I see what appears to be little bits of garlic, too. So just a garlic mash in with the peppers. Bottoms up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. There it is. Wow, that's a weird experience. <coughs> okay. Same crap, just with garlic in it. But, different experience when I had the garlic one. Alright, first thing, you get the bitter, you get kind of like the bittery, sour, um, vinegar. And then, Directly after that, um, because I just tried this one, I'm waiting for the huge punch in my mouth of, of habanero heat. And it lingered. It was a strong garlic flavor, a good sweet garlic flavor. And then long after I swallowed, it was a couple second delay, then it punched me. Then it punched me square in the face with the, the habanero heat. So there's a little bit of a linger in the garlic version. Better flavor, even better flavor. This one's just okay, just pepper. Like I said, just give it a little, a little boop, boop, boop on your taco or something. It would give it some heat, but you're not. It's not all flavor. And like I said, unless you love the habanero flavor, this one I prefer more because of that garlic. So Texas Tears, uh, it's hot. It's just straight. I mean, there's literally fresh habaneros, you know, pureed with uh, vinegar. So expect that kind of heat. It's hot. It's making my mouth water before you saw it sneeze. It made me sneeze. The burn is still just all around the mouth, everywhere in the mouth, mostly the lips, the inside of your lips, mostly the tip of my tongue. Garlic burp. This is not a, a make-out sauce, by the way. 
if you're going to be kissing the lady, don't be loading up on any kind of nasty sauce. Um, heat, it's there. Habanero heat. 10 being I'm going to die, or even worse, I hope I don't. <laughs> I hope I do die, because suffering will be worse. That's like a 10 in the heat level. Uh, this will probably be like a 3, maybe pushing a 4. For a lot of people, it's going to be a little much, but for chili heads, it's going to be on the lower end of the spectrum of, oh my god, heat. So, Texas Tears. Check out the project. All the information will be in the description below. Um, I wish him luck. I hope this goes through. It's really not that bad. For the type of hot sauce it is, the style of hot sauce being so simplistic, it's probably one of the best of that type. It's not my preferred type of hot sauce, but like I said, if I had this type, this is basically... You walk into a Mexican restaurant, this is the style of hot sauce they have there. It's just a very straightforward, usually in the habaneros, usually it's like cayenne pepper and um, straight vinegar. So it's a hotter version of that, put it that way. That's it. That's Texas Tears. This is my tie-dye shirt. And here's me wishing you a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Take care.